Hi guys, um, welcome back. Today we're quickly going to talk about the 1 November hack or data breach at Hetzner. Okay, so 1 November Hetzner had a data breach. Uh, they put out a statement, they emailed their customers and um, this is pretty much what we know. So the breach was in a customer management tool they use called Console H. It was in the MySQL database. It was a MySQL or SQL injection vulnerability that was exploited by hackers and they got access to this database. So what we know is this is not customer hosting servers that was hacked or were hacked. Um, it's basically the customer database that Hetzner uses to manage their customers. Okay. What was in this thing? Uh, some FTP passwords, customer details like names, surnames, banking details. Luckily no credit card details because they don't store that. It's just like which bank you're with and is it a check account and that sort of thing that they store. If you are doing debit orders for instance. Um, what they also, what was also in that leak is things like email addresses, telephone numbers, ID numbers, possibly. Um, so, yeah, that's 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 bad. It's not a good thing that that leaked out. Um, the FTP passwords that leaked out, Hetzner has already reset all of them, so all your servers should be secure. Um, we we've checked all our customers and our customers' WordPress websites and. Hosting servers are secure, so that seems to be okay. Um, yeah, so basically the impact of this is um, if I'm managing servers or hosting for customers and I've got the account at Etzner and I provide the service for my customers, it was actually my own details that was leaked out in this, in this leak. It's not my customers' details because that I don't store at Etzner. So if you're a customer from the marketing techie and you are one of the um, customers that's actually hosted at Hetzner, don't worry, it wasn't your details, it was my details. Um, small consolation, but uh, it just ends up being a bit of work for me. Um, I have to go and change some management level passwords, FTP passwords for all my customers, which will take me uh, the better part of of a day. Uh, we've already done most of that yesterday evening. Um, so it's bad. Uh, it's not something that's fun, but at least uh, it wasn't customer servers that were hacked, so your websites would all still be secure. Um, what Etzner is saying is change your email passwords. They're pretty sure that um, if you've changed your email password or if you're a new customer with Etzner in the last couple of years, um, it wasn't leaked because they haven't saved email passwords for many years. Um, so you should be okay, but just to be safe, change your email passwords. Uh, if you need help with that, give me a shout. I'll, uh, I'll help you with changing it at the, on the Hetzner servers. Uh, if you've got WordPress websites or any websites that uses a CMS MySQL database, then change those database passwords. Uh, those could have been compromised. So that's something that we've been busy with for hours already, changing all our customers' WordPress uh, database passwords. Um, a lot of these password changes are just to be really secure and it's something that you actually should be doing every few months anyway. Um, you shouldn't leave passwords the same for months or years or in, on end. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of work, but it's something that actually should be done every few months anyway. Uh, and then, so what's the implications? Well, the implications are it's a little bit of work. We're changing passwords. If you can't get into your FTP account or your console H, then um, you have to basically reset those passwords. Um, are things like WordPress websites secure? Absolutely. Uh, especially for my customers, we've got... Um, a couple of layers of security that we build in on top of what Etzner provides. So we're not only relying on them, we've got extra security on our customer websites. Um, we've got off-site backups. If something catastrophic happens, we can get those websites back anyway. So um, we're quite confident that the impact to our customers would be minimal. Worst case scenario is you'd pretty much be changing some email passwords. Um, we know that's not fun, 
but uh, at least the impact of this has been limited by Exner. And I can say um, Exner being the German company and the reliable hosting company that they are, they're one of the best that I've ever used, um, at least locally in South Africa. Um, they, their servers are in Midran, super fast. Um, from my experience, for many years, they've been super secure as well. And again, this is not um, their hosting servers that have been hacked. This is basically a customer management database that leaked. So um, it's still a leak, it's still a hack. But um, yeah, at least customer data in the case of hosting customers is pretty safe. It's just a little bit of admin changing passwords. So might not be the worst thing. And hopefully the companies learn from this. They fix these um, MySQL injection vulnerabilities and uh, it doesn't happen again. Um, yeah, we'll keep you up to date. We'll see what Edson says today again. But uh, so far, uh, it might not be as bad as some of the news agencies are trying to spin it. Okay. If you've got any questions, please, please feel free to contact me. If you need any help with any of these security issues, feel free to contact me. Thanks, guys. Um, have a good day.